bet anywhere with TVG. They're off in the Whitney. Normandy Invasion on the far outside is sent out, and Liam's Map's got speed from the inside, and Moreno is just to the outside of them, but Liam's Map is going to be the pacemaker. Moreno is running in second position early on, and then Normandy Invasion on the outside of Lee, while Noble Bird rides the rail. Around that first turn, Wicked Strong is next by another seven lengths. Tonalist, Honor Code, and VE Day are all separated from the others. Oh, the pace is hot! 22 and three was the opening quarter mile as they go on to the back stretch. And Liam's map is the leader. And Moreno is three quarters of a length behind, running in second position. Normandy Invasion and Noble Bird are together just behind them. Then the pair of Lee and Wicked Strong who's down on the inside. It's a long, long way back. 10, 11 lengths back to Tonalist, VE Day, and Honor Code. And the half was 46 seconds flat. And now the field races for the far turn. And Liam's map has been setting this grueling pace so far. And Moreno is now being asked to go by Cornelio Velasquez. He's a length behind. And then it's Lee. Wicked strong down on the inside. Normandy invasion. Noble Bird's not going on. Honor Code is still about 12 lengths off the lead. Then the Belmont winner, Tonalist, and the Travers winner, VE Day. And they're coming to the top of the stretch. Three quarters in 109 and three. They're into the stretch. And it's Liam's map. Oh, he's got a five length lead coming to the eighth pole. He's run a huge race. Wicked Strong and Honor Code have a furlong to reel him in. Totalist is next. They're coming to the final 16th. Liam's map reaching for the wire. Honor Code running out of time. Liam's map. Here comes Honor Code. Here's the wire. Honor Code looked like he got him in the last stride. They're off in the Alabama. Not the best of starts for Ima Chatterbox. Embellish the Lace is going out to take the lead, and Carolina is second to the inside as Lovely Maria takes her spot in third. And then comes Sweetgrass running in fourth position, four lengths off the lead early. Ima Chatterbox is fifth, and down on the inside as they move into that first turn, Danette is near the back of the field and include Betty doing her thing early on, trailing the field. 13 lengths off the lead, and the pace is honest enough here at 24 flat opening quarter mile. The leader is Embellish the Lace. Javier Castellano and Embellish the Lace a length in front as they go to the back stretch. From Carolina and Lovely Maria to the outside. Break of another two to I'm a Chatterbox who's fourth onto the back stretch. Sweetgrass follows in fifth, five lengths off the lead, and it's six lengths more. Back to Danette, and the trailer is include Betty. The half was 48 and one fifth seconds. Embellish the lace. Front running here in the Alabama. Out there by a length and three quarters. John Velasquez and Carolina sit second as Kerwin Clark keeps Lovely Maria close up. Third on the outside as they continue the run to the half mile pole. I'm a chatterbox is fourth heading for the turn. Then comes Sweet Grass Danette. And still at the back is include Betty. Three quarters went in one twelve and four. Around the far turn they go. Embellish the least the leader. Carolina turning up the heat now. And lovely Maria's there on the far outside. I'm a chatterbox is three lengths off of them. And include Betty is out of last. And she's closing on the far outside. And they're into the stretch. Embellish the lace in front with one furlong to run. She's trying to take them all the way in the Alabama. Here comes I'm a chatterbox on the far outside, and she's second as they come down to the 16th bowl. Embellish the lace. I'm a chatterbox coming to her, but she's not getting there. And embellish the lace has gone all the way in the Alabama. They're off in the Travers. And American Pharaoh had a great start. He goes straight to the front and Frosted is away well. And Frosted is just to the outside of the Triple Crown winner early. And then it's Smart Transition running in third up. Start is fourth, Texas Red fifth. Keen Ice is sixth on the outside as they pass by us and then Mid-Ocean from Ento. Tail of Verve and King of New York is the trailer. So American Pharaoh gets some early pressure here in the Travers. Frosted is kept close to the pace and Smart Transition is third. The opening quarter mile was a soft one though. It was 24 and one fifth seconds. 
Texas. Upstart is tucked in. He's now third, and Smart Transition is back to fourth. And then it's Texas Red and Keen Ice, a separation of five to Mid-Ocean, and it's a long way more back to the others. And they're followed by Taylor Ver, Fermento, and King of New York. And a triple crown winner moves on to the backstretch at Saratoga. American Pharoah is the leader, and Frosted is keeping him company up the backstretch. He's three quarters of a length behind him. And then it's Smart Transition, Upstart, right together. Keen Ice is fifth behind them. Kent DeSormo and Texas Red are six lengths behind American Pharoah, who continues to be pressed along by Frosted. And they went a half mile in 48 and 1. And at the half mile pole, these two are together. And they've gone three quarters in 111 and 2. American Pharoah by a head. And Frosted is taking it to him on the far turn. Frosted is right alongside of American Pharoah. And now Victor Espinosa has to ask American Pharoah to go. And Frosted continues to cling to him on the outside as they round the far turn. They're four lengths ahead of Keen Ice. And as they turn for home, American Pharoah has lost the lead at the top of the stretch. Frosted on the outside is now in front, but American Pharoah is battling on from the inside. He's showing all this fight with one furlong to run. And here on the far outside comes Keen Ice with a light threat. American Pharoah put away Frosted. He has to deal with Keen Ice. Keen Ice has got him. Keen Ice has won the Travers over American Pharoah in a dramatic upset. Frosted was third, and Upstart was fourth, and a final time of 201.57 seconds. The Graveyard of Champions has claimed another. Ready for the start. They're off in the Woodward. And Liam's map goes out to the front. He's got company, though. Bay of Plenty's got speed, too. And Protonico is away running in third of the far outside as they race for the turn. And then it's Coach Inch, who now takes third. Protonico goes a bit wide and wicked strong. Is down on the inside, five links off the lead early on as Liam's map rolls along up front. And then it's F and X followed by Commanding Curve and My Loot who are at the back of the field. The first quarter goes in 22 and three fifth seconds, 23 and three, the opening quarter mile for Liam's map, who's the leader onto the back stretch by two and a half lengths. And then it's Bay of Plenty running in second a length and a half. Coach Inge follows in 30s, four lengths off of Liam's map up the backstretch. Then Protonico and Wicked Strong. Three lengths more. Back to F and X, Milute, and Commanding Curve is last, and he's only nine lengths off the lead. The pace is not fast at all here. Liam's map has run a half in 47 and two, much slower than he ran in the Whitney. Liam's map is the leader by two lengths as the field races past the half-mile pole. Bay of Plenty is in second, moving for the turn. Coach Inge follows in third on the inside. Wicked Strong is fourth. Protonico's come under a ride. FX is down on the inside, five lengths off the lead. My loot and commanding curve. Liam's map rounds the far turn after three quarters in one, ten and four. And Bay of Plenty is trying to come after him as they move to the top of the stretch. Liam's map turns for home in front in the Woodward and turns it on to a two-length lead. Coach Inge has rallied up the rail and on the outside comes Bay of Plenty, but Liam's map has opened up a three-length lead here. Coach Inge, Bay of Plenty, Wicked Strong, F and X, and on the far outside by Loot, they're all running for minor shares behind Liam's map who rolls home in the Woodward. They're off in the hopeful. And it's Magnolite who goes out to take the early lead and immediately opens up to lead by a length and a half over Uncle Vinny and Rallis, who are away second and third. And squeezing through on the inside, Salisaw and Set the Trap is right up there too. And then back to Tom's ready, Bullet Gone Astray trails as Magnolite leads the way through the opening quarter mile in 22 and three-fifth seconds. And it's Magnolite on top a length and a half. Set the trap is running in second. Rallis is third to the outside. Salisaw has the rail with a half mile to go. Uncle Vinny's got four and a half lengths to make up, starting to be ridden along. And then it's Tom's Ready on the inside who's gone by Uncle Vinny. And Uncle Vinny's not going on here. Around the far turn, it is Magnolite. 
Magnolite is the leader. And here's the Californian, Rallis, who has moved up alongside. And these two will come to the top of the stretch together in the hopeful of 45 and two half mile. And they're into the stretch, and it's Magnolite in front. Rallis runs at him as they come into the final furlong. They've left the others behind. Salazar's third, and Rallis has taken the lead. Rallis rallies to the lead in the hopeful and pulls away from Magnolite. They're coming down to the line, and high. Javier Castellano wins another grade one at the spa. He takes the hopeful on Rallis. The winning jockey. He won the Woodward. He won the Whitney. He won the Travers. He won the Alabama. And he won the hopeful. Javier Castellano. What a meet.